Welcome back everyone to Urban CG TV and I am your host The Art Poet. In today's episode we'll be going over briefly uh, low poly hair and fur design specifically uh, hair. We're going to be using the uh, this model right here I created a while back um, it's already game ready model uh, we're going to be adding some facial hair to this model and we're going to be using one of the many techniques to make low poly hair so without further ado let's get started guys we're going to start by pressing shift A and selecting plane I'm going to bring up an empty plane it's kind of dark so I'm going to add some lighting press shift A again and I'll go to a lamp option Probably pick, uh, let's do Hemi. Do the Hemi light. And what we're going to do, we're going to um, have to use an alpha channel to uh, make these hair particles come up like we want it to. So we're going to go to the material settings. We're going to pull the specular all the way to zero. I want to take off, uncheck the back face uh, under game settings if it's checked. I'm going to start out with um, changing the alpha name to alpha clip. And then we're going to uh, go all the way down to the transparency tab and we're going to pull the alpha all the way to zero. And right now you can't see anything different done to this, uh, to this plane, but we're going to change that to texture mode and you can see it's. Uh, well invisible you can't see the, the alphas and that's how we want it next we're gonna go to the texture map the texture panel and we're gonna check alpha uh, right under the diffuse setting and we're gonna keep the color checked as well now let's go to open and I have a couple of hair textures which uh, I found some off the internet and of course I've taken it into Gimp and I kind of uh, adjusted them to how I wanted them to look and we're going to select one of them and let's see I this fur right here I'm probably going to use the black hair on this fur alright let's see here I'm going to open up the UV tabs See if we can adjust the UV settings a little bit so this hair can appear like we want it to, and we'll be able to adjust it. So we can find it right now. There it go. Alrighty. Okay, we're gonna press un we're gonna do reset, and then we're gonna do unwrap the model and I don't see oh there we go see if we can adjust these hairs to how we want it to look I like this design because it's uh, of course we can't use a particle setting in a game engine I mean but this helps out it can uh for various things for beards uh grass leaves you know, you can also manipulate them and have it moving when the wind blows and start certain things like that in different game engines. So this will, this comes in handy. And it, you can see it showing up, but it's still uh, black in the background. Oh, yeah, we didn't change the alphas on this, uh, on this particular texture right here. So hold on. I'm probably going to take it into my image manipulating software and I'll be right back guys alrighty I'm back and it's looking good so you've taken out the background so these hairs look a lot better not as dark as I want it to be but as just a demonstration as well for today um, now this will be good Probably need to adjust it just a little bit. Alrighty, 
Now that looks dope. That looks dope. Keep the alpha on. Let's see. Let's try some of these other tabs to make it look a little bit darker, I guess. Maybe. see too many things that'll make it darker right now I guess it's pretty good where we got it at so the materials all right I think we're going to save this one I'm probably going to make one more so I can use a different strand of hair. We got so many strands of hair on this uh, particular image. I think we're going to do that one and make one more. So we're going to select the plane and we'll press Shift D. Then we're going to hit the X button to slide it over. There we go. No, we're not duplicated. It does look darker placed on top of it. We can probably make some uh, real pretty cool things happen once we start to lay this on the model. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm going to adjust that. Also, I have to remember to subdivide these planes probably into four ways. I mean, as many times as you want, but I particularly, especially for facial hair, I'll probably do it four ways. We were talking about a longer hair, like maybe going on top of the head or something, it would probably be longer or I mean more subdivisions, but it's uh, this will work just fine. Save that. Alright guys, that's it for this quick tutorial today. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more in-depth tutorials of low poly hair design from from beards to uh, long ponytails, uh, even hair that moves uh, when the character is moving. There's a lot. Just stay tuned to this channel. There's a lot coming up, uh, especially for you game dev fans and uh, potential game dev fans. Uh, thanks for all you guys' support on Urban CG TV, and uh, let's grow Creation Nation. See you next time, and peace.